This is how unattainable the 1% man is for women from MOA podcast. We have 20 times as many options as women in the same category. Yeah. But women don't realize that and they're sharing men and don't know they're sharing men. So here's the thing. A lot of times what will happen is, and I, here, I don't want you to answer with your answer. What I would like for you to answer is think about your like five closest female friends. Oh, okay. And uh, then you I want know, you, you know, who you need to, you know who we're talking about now. <laughs> okay, okay. You got it? okay. So I want you to answer for that. Okay. What they think. And then we're going to talk about percentages because when we talk about, remember we said about delusion, what happens is a woman is dating a guy who she thinks is really good looking, smart or whatever. And she doesn't realize how many other women are trying to get with that same guy. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like men at the top have s infinite options and the rest of men have zero. Yeah. Right. 26% of men under the age of 30 are virgins, right? 33% of men, 33% uh, of men under the age of, of 30 have had zero sexual partners in the last year. Yeah. Serious. Yeah, you didn't know this? Dead serious. Yeah. No, you, you're joking. No, so do you remember what I said before? 80% of men are deemed unattractive on social media. Apps, yeah. So a third of men have no luck with women whatsoever. And it seems interesting. So he's referring to all those men under 30 reporting to be virgins, and a lot of them are Gen Z. I remember we covered an article on this channel, and it was talking about how Gen Z men have, have pretty much given up on dating, a, a, a lot of them. And here's just like a quick little anecdote here. I'm on Reddit, looked in, looked into it a little bit. And the, the question is, is this article right? Have Gen Z men given up? And there's a comment here from this, the, this guy, and he says, I would, as a Gen Z guy, say yes, generally more men overall are not successful in the sexual market as the concentration of interest is clouding around the highest cream of the crop. Most also see how relationships can be really risky to take on considering one false accusation ruins your life. Or if you ever get married, divorce will put you through the ringer nine out of ten times. Most Gen Z males don't see the juice as worth the squeeze from local women, especially due to massive reliance on dating apps or just the overall degradation of partners looking for meaningful relationships before 35. So obviously, there's a lot more single gen there's a lot more single generation Z men than there are women in the same age range. So that tells us that these women are dating older men, where these younger men are having to realize, just as any other young man realizes in his life, that women like to go for older men who are more established. And it's just that's just the name of the game, which is why it's so funny when women try to gaslight men and say, "Oh no, women don't like older guys." when just about every male would attest to the fact that women do in fact like older guys, and it even reveals it in the studies, showing that Generation Z men are much more single than Generation Z women. And so if there's such a large discrepancy amongst Generation Z in regards to the percentage of men being single versus women being single, there's really only a couple explanations. Either A, women are dating the same men, or they're dating out of that age range. So women are dating older. I cannot imagine being even younger than I am in my earlier 20s, I'm 27, but I can't imagine how growing up in high school and dealing with women, how much more challenging it must be with dating apps. It must be so much harder today. And I think a lot of Generation Z men are experiencing that. And they're really, really getting shown just how much leverage a small percentage of men have over a majority percentage of the women because of dating apps, because of the prevalency of social media. You imagine that being in high school nowadays, being in college nowadays, having to deal with that shit? You also live in Hollywood. You you, you're around that scene. Those men are attractive and um, wealthy and have status. But if we go to like Temecula and to the Walmart there, and you say, okay, which who's fucking this bartender? Or who's fucking this cashier? You're like, oh yeah, nobody. If we go to Jack in the Box, you're like, so you see the guy managing the Jack in the Box? Who's fucking the mat? You'd be like, oh, well, no one's fucking him. And then you'd be like, oh, okay, that's where the 33% of men, because most women don't even see those men. You don't even like notice that they're there, right? So this is what, this is the calculator. And just, I'm just curious, like what you think these numbers are. So what I'm gonna do is ask, answer for your friends. Just think of your five closest friends, and then you're just gonna answer for them, okay? Mm -hmm. So the first thing is age. What what is the age range do you think your, your friends would be attracted to? 
Are we talking about guys right now? Guys. Okay. Your female friends. So your five closest female friends. Yeah. Okay. And they were going to say the age range of men that they're attracted to. Um, I would say 35, 45. 35, 45. Good. All right. Let's do that. So we're going to go 45. 35, 45. To 35. There we go. Now, uh, I have to ask this. We're excluding married men. What is that? We're what? excluding. We're not including married men. They can't pick oh, for married men. No, okay. no, no, now, no. Now, it's really funny because the number of women who actually date married women is way higher than the number of women who say they will date married men. No, it's not good. Okay. Agreed. I don't, re just, I don't respect that. Beautiful. Uh, we That's don't a care good what race or is a particular race. No. We don't care what race. No. So we're going to pick any race. What is the minimum height? Remember your friends. Don't lie. This is the one where everybody, oh. all the girls start grimacing. Be real. What is your? There's no cameras on us right now. You guys are having fucking martinis or drinking mimosas at brunch, and you're talking about he's too short. What is too short? What is the minimum height for the minimum guy? Five, 10. It's minimum five ten. Minimum five ten. There we go. Okay. The average Amer North American male is five nine. So we're gonna go correct. Five, ten. Got it. Okay. Now here's another one. I have to tell you this because it's gonna seem obvious, but it's not. We're excluding obese men, correct? Or would we allow heavy, fat, fat men? <laughs> no. No fat men. No. Okay. No, like, let's be honest, guy. Mm -hmm. Who wants to date a fat man? Okay, or, but he's no. got to be 5'10", right? Yeah. And he's between the age of 35 and 45, and he's not obese, right? Ready? Here's another one. Be honest. Not you. Your friends. Minimum income. Mm. See? Look at the look on her face. It's so great. We got to clip. <laughs> Char, we got to clip this. This is so great. What? Minimum income per year. That's a difficult question. Yeah. Your friends, but it's not you. Obviously, no, you, not me. I'm obviously not you don't. About me. Obviously, you don't care about money at all. I don't care. But yes. your friends, I have a different story. Five, five closest friends. I'm so sure. What are they? Uh, what's their minimum income? They're gonna search okay, for. Okay, let's say um, 100k. 100k. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 100k. That's that's uh, that puts you in um, Century City. Maybe you can't quite live in Hollywood, right? All right. Cool. So we're talking about a man who is. Um, 35 to 45. He's not married. Okay. So we're excluding all married men. We're excluding, uh, you know, we're excluding anyone under 510. We're excluding obese men and we're excluding men that make under $100,000 a year. Now. So my question for you is what percentage of men in the United States do you think that is? Hmm. I would say handsome. These, the, not forget a... handsome. Just those things we said, we said not married, any race, five tall, five feet, 10, not obese and earning a hundred thousand dollars a year. 40%? 40% of men? Yeah. 40% of men? Yeah, it's less than 1% of men. <laughs> it's Seriously? less than 1%. Yeah. Yeah. Oh so God. so let's let's go through the problems you had here. Why? What's the problem with all the dimensions? So so <laughs> you when you said not married and not obese, you excluded almost all men. Yeah. Like 40 something, what percentage? 75% uh, of Americans are obese. Really? Yeah, 75% of Mer Americans That's are fat. Crazy. It's 70%. Oh my God. It's 70%. 70%. 70 yeah, but, it, it, no. the average guy is carrying about 30 pounds. Oh, overweight. The average woman is 173. Yeah, the average woman. Yeah, that's a good point. And you know what? If you can just get yourself in good shape, which is something you absolutely can control and is not out of your control whatsoever, here in America, you can make I mean, yourself. You know, not average. You can pull yourself out of that average category just by getting in shape, just by losing weight. That's that's something that is absolutely in your control and you should work on. And it's going to make you live longer as well. I highly suggest you check out intermittent fasting. I've been doing that every day for many years now. So if you can just at least, if you can work on that, get in shape, get fit, that's going to be a huge advantage for you. I say it's Hi, 170 it's pounds. Hard. You know, you're talking to me. I live in Hollywood. Everyone handsome. Mm -hmm. It's so hard. Yeah, to, right. So, to, but you thought 40% yeah. of men. But now, ready? Let's keep going. Ready? Okay. So, <laughs> when you say not married, you're actually excluding a ton of men. And guess what? The good looking men who are fit and make a lot of money, guess what they all are? They're married. <laughs> and you excluded them. You see the problem there? It's a huge, which is reason why. So, if you ask women, what percentage of you would consider dating a married man? It's going to be like 6% of women. If you look at how many of them actually dated a married man, it's going to be like in the mid 40s. And they wow. didn't know he was married, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, here's the thing I'm going to ask you. So, when we talk about any race, with any race, so that's everyone, five foot 10, right? 
What percentage of the population is over six feet tall? What do you think? I don't know, but I thought I, I thought I was too nice to say five ten. Yeah. To be honest, I'm like uh, like uh, better six zero, but yeah. five ten. So what percent? What six feet tall? What percentage of the I don't of know, men but not a tall? lot, not a lot. I think like I don't know, but twenty percent. Fourteen percent of men are 14. six feet tall. Yeah, six foot three. It's one percent of men. Yeah. I hear women all the time say, "I'm not going to date a guy under six foot three. I hear it all the time. Ready? The next issue is not obese. Again, we said that's like 25% of men that are left. Okay. Oh, okay. And then the last one, hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay. What percentage of men do you think make more than a hundred thousand dollars a year? Not a lot. Yeah. So it's, it's, I think you're in the, the top 26%, I yeah. believe that's what yeah, it is. Top 20, top 10%, top 10%, I think is like around 200,000 a year and top 1% is 600,000 a year. Top 0.1% is 3.2 million a year. That's what they make. So, yeah, you know, and then he's not even including looks like what are these what do these dudes look like? Are you even going to be attracted to them? And, you know, people can look at this and say, yeah, that's what she's just saying she wants. But she knows she's not realistically going to demand a man like that. And I would say, I don't I don't know if you're right. I, I think a lot of these women legitimately think they are very capable of getting this man. And then one of the problems is also when she inevitably gets with the man who does not meet all those requirements, is she always in the back of her mind going to be thinking, I'm settling for this man? And how is that in turn going to have an effect on her behavior towards that guy? And like, not only that, the guy she ends up with who doesn't meet all that criteria, is he going to be quote unquote blue pilled? Is he going to be you know, red pilled and actually know the things that the woman is going to want for him? Or is he going to come in being a, a vulnerable dude who, who who thinks it's okay to cry to his girl? It, you know, how is that guy, how's that guy's life going to be? Like like these average men, man, it, it can be kind of blackpilling thinking about it because not every man can be exceptional. I believe they all should strive to be exceptional. I don't think being a loser is okay. I don't think not putting an effort is okay. But the fact of the matter is that there will always, always be average men. And it just seems that a lot of these women think that those average men would then be what they are settling for. And then the question in my mind is, what kind of life is that going to be for that average man? if he really is average, doesn't know the sort of behaviors he should be bringing to that dynamic. Yeah, I just, sometimes this stuff is, it is pretty black pilling. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. And I don't like that whole doomer side. I don't, I don't really like the black pill. Honestly, I'm getting kind of tired of all the pills. <laughs> Started to get kind of annoying. All this gatekeeping and infighting going on, I'm over it. But this shit right here, man. When you're in Los Angeles, uh, or if you talk to one of those guys who has a house up in the hills, if he makes $400,000 a year, he's in the top like 2% of men as far as wage earners are concerned. And that, but that's all you meet, right? Now, here's the thing. You, the, the, all these ladies that you just spoke about, they have to choose from less than 1% of men. Impossible. And if you said, hold on the thing. That's what, why they're single. Well, thank you. But here, that's why you're single. Let's go back and let's do You said six feet tall. Let's do six feet tall. Let's do everything that you just said, but we'll do six feet tall. And by the way, I don't think any of your female friends would have said 100,000. I don't think a single one of them. I think every one of them would have said higher than 100,000. Oh, I was too loyal, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you if, were being generous, yeah. is what you were being. Right? If they're six feet tall, 0.45% of men. Oh, my like God. 45, or like, uh, like four tenths of 1% of men are in there. So what we can do instead is a male delusional calculation. <laughs> this, is, this is gonna be good male delusional calculator ready now i'm gonna do the same thing you did you want to do it with me i'll Let do it with you we'll do, it with, do it with you okay so what is our ideal age what do you think you know what we're gonna say uh 25 to 30. well my girlfriend's 21 so I'm okay put, we'll do I'm 21 put, to 30. I'm put 21 but to be fair i didn't i thought she was like 23 when we met but she's yeah. 21. uh and i'll say that the, my upper limit i have dated someone who's like 34 so I'm yeah 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 okay when I met when I met Nicole, she was thirty two. So there you go. So we're gonna exclude married. We'll exclude married. No. Men don't give a fuck. We don't at all. care. But we're gonna exclude married. We're gonna exclude mothers. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll exclude we'll single exclude. moms. Yeah, you gotta exclude single moms. Mothers, but a lot of men don't we care. Don't care. They don't, we don't care. care. Right? Any race? 
any race. Any race, dude. Like my homeboy said, if they're if, if they're brown, he's down. <laughs> yep. If they're a minority, they're his priority, right? <laughs> Height. You know what? We're gonna say, you know what? Nothing nothing above what five eleven? I have absolutely dated a six foot woman. Yeah, same same here. So I'm gonna All right. I wouldn't. But again, I'm I I'm I'm not six foot, so I wouldn't do anything over five ten. We go four eleven to six feet. Yeah. We don't care about. We don't height. care about your See, height. The, thing be, the advantage we have is we don't care about height or money. The two most important things women care about are. I certainly don't care about money. Height, height and, and money. money. Yep. And the two things that men absolutely don't care about are height and money. Right? Isn't that weird? Okay. Exclude obese and overweight. Obviously. Obviously. We're gonna do that. Yeah. We're gonna do that. And then minimum income. Don't care. <laughs> Zero. We don't care. Remember. Remember, it was point. Not, it's only you don't care, guys. But a lot of guys I would say, care. I would say fewer than 5% of men actually would have a beautiful woman and say, I'm not going to date her because she doesn't make any money. Ma the vast majority of men who are looking for a long-term partner who he's going to have kids with do not care how much money she makes. There are exceptions. A, a, a male cardiologist may want to marry a female cardiologist for sure. That definitely happens. A male gymnast. That's because they're like in the same proximity too. And they think that's something that they sort of have in common, I think may want to marry a female gymnast and they have some level of income for sure but i think that has more to do with profession than income yeah. but okay. mike how many guys marry the waitress or like yeah. marry the they marry the yeah. salon you know tech all right so what percentage of women do you think that we talked about not married no children any race between 411 and six feet tall not overweight and any income um, a lot it's more. 10 it's 10 percent. 10 percent. yeah so it's it's the obese thing it's the not overweight thing that rules a lot of them out isn't that wild the standards the things that they were wanting really not not delusional at all besides the fact that you think you can get a fit women a fit woman in today's day and age oh in america more than so the, the point is we have you said six feet tall before we have 20 times as many options as women in the same category yeah but women don't yo 10 percent is still weirdly low right that's crazy realize that and they're sharing men and don't know they're sharing men you live in los angeles you know what i'm saying is true yeah. have you seen there's a there's a group uh on facebook called are we dating the same guy have you seen this no it's this it's they do it city by city and all these women go in there and they show pictures the guys are dating and they say are we dating the same also oh, they're sharing the same guy yes yeah because that's what's happening what an interesting phenomenon that is where women are this this is becoming such a common issue that they're having to go into Facebook groups and say, are we dating the same guy? Man, th there might be a male equivalent to that. I don't know. I would doubt it. And there certainly is going to be less members in there because it's not as big of an issue. The thing to take away from this is that if you can lose weight <laughs> and become fit, that's something that's absolutely in, in your control. And so is making money. Making money is absolutely in your control. And if you're going to be watching this channel, then I want to hold you to a different standard than all the other average men out there. Because I, I care about you more than I care about, well, well, other men out there in the world. And I want what's best for everybody that watches this channel and, and engages with the content. I know a lot of guys are opting out of dating. My opinion on that, you know, I, I'm not a uh, MGTOW. That's... that's Again, and, and I'm just kind of so tired of all these subcategories and pills and stuff. Just, if there's something I could do here, it would be to encourage you to get fit, work on making more money, and just becoming a happier dude overall. Because I, I, I do, I do care about you guys. You know, I do care about men as a whole. I care about the average man. And I would like to see those men who are currently in the average become more rare. But anyways, if you enjoyed that, if you could leave a like and a subscription, I would appreciate it.